Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will see how to take photo uh, with camera and load it in the UI and also select image from the gallery and uh, load it into the UI after saving it to the application's temporary directory in a separate thread. Then after that, we will be loading the saved image which is in the temporary directory into the UI. Okay, so let's start. So for this demo, we need three packages, path provider to get the apps documents directory or the temporary directory and the image picker to open the camera or the gallery to get the image and the image picker and the image to decode the image. Okay, so let me show the main.dart file. So this is the main.dart file where I have set the image selection screen as the home. So it will be loading first. Okay, so let me declare some variables. So the first one is a file, image file, and the second one, let me import the dart.io, and the second one is the status, third one is a boolean, image loading, okay, and the fourth one is the image picker, so uh, import the image picker, so let me show the plugin image picker, so you need to have some values in the info.plist for iOS, so if you want to add that, the app is going to crash. So it will ask the permissions from the user. Okay, so it's going to ask the camera permission and also the gallery permission. Okay, so let's uh, initialize the variables now. Status is equal to empty and image file, sorry, image loading is equal to false and image picker is equal to new image picker. Okay, now let's quickly create the UI child, which is a column with main axis alignment end cross axis alignment center and main axis size to maximum okay and i'm going to add a image image.file and supply the image file then add the filter quality i'm setting the filter quality to high so there is some error so that's because the image file is null so let's add that check so if it is null it will show an empty container otherwise the image okay now we need uh, some spacing with a height of 20 and a text which will show the status and some spacing. Then we will need a UI with two buttons, one to open the camera and another one to open the gallery and select the image, right? So let's add a container with padding 20, okay, and a width media query dot of width of context size dot width and colors dot black 12 and the column with main axis size to minimum cross axis alignment center and main axis alignment center with children so i'm gonna add a button button method with text and the image source so that will return a flat button with child text which will be the text and on press we'll do it later so let's pass in the values so that will be image source dot camera and second one will be gallery okay so all right now let's add the ui save it okay so one click of the button what we are going to do is we will set the image loading to true and the image file is equal to null okay and uh, let's load the image so that's an asynchronous method let's pass in the image source okay so the image picker is going to return picked file okay and await call await image picker dot get image and pass in the source so that's the image source okay we are going to return future file so if it is null we'll do it later otherwise we'll return the file so sorry so that should be picked file okay now picked file is equal to await load image and pass in the image source and call set state if it is not null okay so we are going to set the image file to file so that is going to be picked file 
so that will be file image file dot path okay and uh, set the image loading to false and status is equal to loaded okay and return from there otherwise null and error okay so let's see if that's working reload the app open the camera so it's asking the permission select the image so let's try selecting some bigger image okay so there is the error so let me add an expanded widget surrounding the image okay so that's gone now now let's come to the main part let's save the image that is selected into the apps temporary directory so future file save image to disk and pass in the file and the directory okay and a try catch so if there is some error and let me import the image okay and uh, so let's make it a string the file path okay so i'm gonna create a temporary file with the path okay so that should be file path and i'm gonna decode the image so image is equal to image img dot decode image and pass in the temp file dot read us byte sync and image dot image m image is equal to i'm going to resize the image okay so copy resize image and you can pass in your width okay now I'm going to get the image type. So that will be string image type is equal to path dot split with dot and get the last string. Okay. So string m path is equal to I'm going to create a local path where I'm going to save the save this image. So that will be directly dot path to string and uh, backslash. And uh, I'm gonna give image underscore and date time dot now, okay, and dot image type. All right. So uh, I'm gonna check if the image type is JPEG. Then call temp file dot write as bytes sync and image dot encode JPEG and pass in the M image. So I'm assuming the other type is PNG. Okay, so you should check that. So encode PNG and pass in the M image. Okay. So let's return the temp file from here. So if there is some error, return null. Okay. Now let's use this method. So if the selected file is not equal to null. We will create the directory. You can create this directory inside the save to save image to disk as well. So I'm writing it here to demonstrate something else. Okay, so we'll see it later. So file is equal to await save image to disk file.path and pass in the directory. So that should be sorry. So let me rename it to m file. Okay. And return m file. that should be future file okay all good now if I go to the load image that should be file okay and uh, the image file should be file now okay so looking good now so I have used I haven't used the M path so that should be so let me create a new file so that is the local file which is saved in the temporary directory, right? So we should write to that file and return the file. Okay, so now everything is okay. All right. Okay, now let's restart the app and see if it is working. Okay, so select the image. Okay, it's working good. It's loading. Now I'm gonna add a circular progress indicator while the image is loading from the disk and see what is happening 
okay so let's select an image from the gallery so you can see the circular image animation is breaking while the image is loading right so it's stuck at some point right that's because we are writing the image to disk inside the same thread which is used to draw the ui so that's why it's breaking the animation so we'll fix that so we are going to make a small change to fix it we'll be wrapping the save image to disk method inside the compute method so compute is going to create a new thread or a new isolate okay so we will be writing the image to disk inside that thread so the compute method can accept only one parameter along with the function name so that's why i declared the directory here so let's see how we can pass multiple parameters to the compute method so i'm going to create a map the first key is the file path so let me say file underscore path or, uh, or just path and pass in the file dot path and second is the directory okay and pass in the map inside the compute method all right import the compute from foundation so that should be the parameter we should modify the parameter for the save image to disk right so that should be map okay and uh, get the values from the map okay directory is map of directory okay all good now let me remove that line so we don't need that line right okay so everything looks good now all right now let's see if that works select an image and uh, can see the animation is smooth now right so there is some error so i'll tell you what is this error so isolate for the isolate the function should be should not be an instance of a class or it should be a static so i'm placing it outside the class the save image to disk function so everything is working good now and you can see the animation is smooth because we are saving the image outside the main thread okay and passing the data back to the ui okay so that is a user isolates and uh, so whenever there is some uh, long running operation to do we should do it in a separate isolate okay i'll be providing the link to the source code in the description below this video and also the links to the uh, plugins that i have used for this demo okay so that's all in this video if you like the video please don't forget to like subscribe and share hit the bell icon for notification also please leave your valuable comments below this video thanks for watching and see you in the next video until then bye